students i have told you about the electron capture and now i will take that what happens when the gamma particle emitted with the nucleus uh, undergo the interaction so interaction of gamma particle interaction of gamma the emission of gamma particle from nucleus source three kinds of interactions interactions number 1 number 1 internal number 1 photoelectric effect photoelectric the gamma particle emitted from the nucleus may be absorbed by atomic electrons the nucleus the photon transfers its whole of energy to electron and as a result the electron is emitted from energy level so what happens that the gamma particle emitted by the nucleus is absorbed by the atomic electron outside the nucleus the photon transfers its all of the energy to the electron and as a result electron is emitted from the nucleus the energy of emitted electron is equal to the difference of energy of gamma photon 
and binding energy. So now what happens that uh, the energy of emitted electron is equal to energy of gamma photon minus binding energy of electrons. So this is called the internal photoelectric effect because uh, no light is incident from the outside. This is the internal effect. It is called internal photoelectric effect if the if we allow to form the gamma particle or some ultraviolet radiation from outside the source from outside source then what the will be it will be called the uh, outer photoelectric effect as we have studied in the uh, previous chapters also. So this is the um, what we call the photoelectric effect. And now second interaction is Compton effect. The emitted gamma particle from nucleus may give may give up some energy to outer electron atomic electron which is required and Photon is scattered Gamma particle is scattered At Some angle It means that in this uh, Photonic effect The gamma particle is completely absorbed But in this Compton effect Gamma particle is not completely absorbed, but the gamma particle give up some energy to the electron and the electron is recoiled and the gamma particle is scattered at some angle. So what happens that if suppose this is the electron, this is the electron, this is your gamma particle. H nu 
here this is the this electron it goes like this this is the recoil electron and this is the scattered photon let this angle is theta and this angle is phi this is the angle of scattering this is the scattered photon this is required electron and this is scattered photon scattered photon so definitely the energy of the scattered photon is less than the incident photon the energy of scattered photon is less than incident photon this effect is called compton effect compton is the name of the scientist who studied this one and found this phenomena so on the name of this it is called the compton effect delta lambda equal to lambda dash minus lambda lambda dash the wavelength of the scattered photon lambda the wavelength of the incident photon since the photon is scattered with less energy it means the wavelength is more and this is equal to h upon mc into 1 minus cos theta this is equal to delta lambda where lambda equal to wavelength of incident photon and lambda dash wavelength of scattered photon h planck's constant m mass of electron and c speed of light theta angle of scattering and you can see from here that the scattering is maximum when theta equal to zero and it is minimum when theta uh, it is a uh, minimum when theta equal to zero or this is approximately equal to zero and when uh, theta equal to 180 then this shift is maximum so when theta equal to zero degree delta lambda equal to h upon mc into 1 minus cos 0 degree h upon mc into 1 minus 1 so that will be equal to 0 so delta lambda is equal to 0 it means that no scattering takes place at the zero degree uh, angle of scattering and when theta equal to 180 degree 
delta lambda equal to h upon m c into one minus cos one eighty degree, and this is h upon m c into one minus this cos one eighty equal to minus one. So this is now plus two. So two h upon m c. This is delta. This is the maximum. Maximum. And when theta equal to ninety degree, delta lambda equal to h upon m c into one minus cos ninety. And this uh, cos ninety is equal to zero. One minus zero. This is equal to delta lambda. So delta lambda is equal to h upon m c. This is the maximum compensate. This is uh, the minimum is zero, and this is the medium of the two. So this uh, way gives you the compensate that depends upon the angle of scattering. And now third. Interaction is the pair production. Third is pair production. When a gamma particle emitted from nucleus has energy. At least 1.02 mega electron volt, and passes to electro static field. It is completely disappears with the production. of electron and positron this phenomena is called pair production So what happens in this? Uh, suppose this is a gamma photon, H nu. This is the nucleus. Here the presence of electrostatic field is necessary. In this space, this pair production does not take place. There must be presence of the electrostatic field. Only then there will be the product pair production. When the 
energy of the photon is at least 1.02 mega electron volt. So when the alpha particle is emitted from nucleus, has energy at least 1.02 mega electron volt and passes through the electrostatic field, it is completely dis completely disappears with the production of electron and positron. So what happens that this is the positron E plus 1 0 and this is the electron E minus 1 0. This is positron and this is electron. So in this way two particles are produced. So we can say that this H nu is equal to an electron and a positron. This is photon, this is so much, its energy is 1.02 mega electron volt and each of these particles have energy 0.51 mega electron volt. It is according to conservation of law of in, uh, energy. Each particle in pair production then 1.02 mega electron volt. It means that for pure pure production at least so much energy must be there. If it is more than this then pure production will take place. But if it is less than this name no pure production will take place. So if the energy of the photon is less than this one, the photon will show the photoelectric effect and the Compton effect. <coughs> If the energy of photon is less than 1.02 mega electron volt. The photoelectric effect and Compton effect is observed 
when energy of photo is less than 1.02 mega electron volt so these are the three kinds of interactions one is the photoelectric effect second uh, the your uh, this uh, compton effect and third the pair production so you like share and subscribe this video thank you